All right, so we are ready to start Shepherd Ferry. We have all of the practice activities done, um, like the max blue, max red, and max green. Um, and we're going to switch over to the Shepherd Ferry file in our Replit project. And we're going to actually write the algorithm to produce that Shepherd Ferry effect. Remember, the ultimate goal is we're going to be grouping pixels together by intensity. Um, so, intensity being like, um, how dark or how, how bright they are. And in order to achieve um, that effect, we need to figure out the intensity of the pixels. In a way to do this, scroll down and look at the explanation of how we can, we can do the Shepard Fairy effect is um, the way we can get the, the uh, intensity is by converting the image first to grayscale. Now this works because we um, what the grayscale function does is it actually averages the pixel values um, into a grayscale value. Um, and if you think about that, that's sort of like the average intensity of each pixel. So by first converting to grayscale, we can kind of like average out each pixel and figure out how intense that particular pixel is. And then we'll use that eventually in our posterize function um, to assign different pixels, uh, different colors based on our, our Shepard Fairy color palette. All right, so starting with grayscale, um, so it says we're first gonna convert the image to grayscale, computing the average of each pixel's RGB, red, green, and blue values. If a pixel is colored with RGB, then we would replace each single RGB value with this calculation, which is just the average of the RGB values which produce the, um, what we'll call the gray value. So we'll recolor each pixel in this, um, in a chosen photo using this algorithm. And uh, uh, that'll achieve the grayscale effect we're looking for. All right, so you're gonna wanna do this on both images that you've chosen for your project. Um, and you'll pass these images into your grayscale function to test to see if it works. Um, when you save these out, make sure you save it as last name, first name, um, and then the orientation of the photo, so portrait or landscape, and then gray to indicate this is the grayscale photo. Okay, so over in our Replit project in the Shepherd Fairy Lab, right, um, the grayscale function um, is not implemented, so we're going to implement that here together. And in order to do so, we're going to, in our main code section, um, open up an image to work with. This image is gonna be open the same way we opened it in the other um, examples. So this is husky.jpg. Just as a reminder, that file is over here. So here's that original. Then after we have that image, we're gonna pass it into our grayscale function. Okay, so once we have that image, it's passed in as an argument to our grayscale function. Received up here as a parameter in the function definition. And now we can do our grayscale algorithm um, and then save this, this new photo out. All right, much of this is gonna look similar to the other algorithms like max red, max green, because just like that one, we have to access each pixel. So the first thing we'll do is we'll load in the pixels into an accessible format. Figure out the width and height. Create our nested for loops. So for every X value in the picture, 
and for every y value in the picture. <clears throat> Just like the uh, max red, green, and blue um, algorithms, we, we need access to the actual individual RGB values. So we'll pull those out from each individual pixel here. So from our pixels, We'll pull out the pixel at location x, y. And then what we need to do for this algorithm is we need to apply the average. So add the RGB values together and divide by 3. So we'll call this the RGB average. And we'll say this is R plus B plus G divided by 3. And then since we're dividing by 3, um, we'll go ahead and, and make sure this is an integer. When we do so. All right, and then now that we have this average of, of the RGB values, we can um, make each individual RGB in the picture um, equivalent to this. So just as we did in the last algorithm, we will use the XY location to change the pixel. Right? And then We'll make every single color channel for this new pixel RBG average value. Okay, so that essentially um, will make each pixel pixel uh, grayscale. If we're done manipulating it. We will save this out. Actually, I asked you to save this a specific way, so we'll go ahead and do it that way. So last name, first name, portrait or landscape, whichever you have, and then gray. So we'll do .png, and we'll save it as file type PNG. <clears throat> Okay, and then we should be able to run it. So let's test this out. Uh, oh, I think we're our main might be, yeah, our main needs to be updated. Okay, so let's run that again. Oh, I had misnamed this one, so let me rename this actually. One second. That looks better. Try it again. Okay, so you saw it took a second, um, but relatively quickly it was able to loop through all pixels and change these pixels to grayscale. So you've got your cool grayscale husky image here, um, and that's how you do the. Grayscale.